Hi guys, uh, so the big news just in is that Brian and Oliver have come to visit us. Uh, about 10 years ago, these two little chappies uh, came to live with us for about three years or so with myself, Elizabeth and our kids when we were just starting a school and also then the Nick Evangelist. So fast forward 10 years, they're back in contact. Now Brian has just become a father himself. Brian has a six month old daughter and they are very poor, very, very poor. They live in a, in a house that's sort of more constructed with plastic and cardboard and bits of wood and tin and stuff. And uh, basically uh, he cannot live with his daughter uh, because there's just not enough room for them and the living conditions are so poor. And so I have invited Brian and his girlfriend and their six month old little baby, she's the cutest little thing, to come and actually live in my room. So today's video, uh, we're wanting to raise some money uh, because this here used to be a bedroom for our trickers, our troop members. You can see they've made it their own home. And I thought that I would live in here, so I, I, you know, I got up here on the top bunk and fell straight through. <laughs> Can you imagine? I fell straight through uh, the bunk bed, and it's not because I'm too heavy, because obviously, you know, I'm in the prime condition of my life. Uh, but it's more about the fact that this is all rotten. Everything here is rotten. So what we're going to do is we're going to tear this down and we're going to rebuild it. So I know it's hard to imagine, but I'm thinking sort of uh, window boxes, you know, perhaps a little patio out here to look over the southern lawn. Maybe two stories, possibly three stories tall. Jacuzzi on top, we need a jacuzzi on top. So please, uh, I'm giving up my room uh, for Brian and, and his girlfriend and their baby so that they can be together, be safe, have food to eat every day, uh, and he's going to go out and get a job and we uh, just really want to support them in this crucial time. So please donate uh, at www.nickevangelist.com and please pray for Brian, his girlfriend and their beautiful little bub. Este, desde pequeño me encontré con esta familia. When I was little, I met this family. Eh, decidí venir a vivir con ellos desde que estábamos pequeños. And I yo, decided to come and live with them when I was little. Yo, mi hermano Oliver, solo nosotros dos. Este, y, I, I came to live with them with my brother, my little brother Oliver. Fue algo genial vivir con ellos. It was really cool to live with them. Eh, viví este, los mejores tiempos de mi vida. It was the best time of my life. Eh, después nos retiramos porque ellos iban a hacer un viaje a Estados Unidos. Uh, but then we stopped li living with them because they went to travel the U.S. Eh, nosotros, yo y Oliver queríamos estudiar primero. And Oliver and I wanted to study first. Eh, entonces por eso no pudimos ir con ellos. And that's why we didn't go with them. Eh, ahora tenía mucho tiempo de mucho tiempo y mucho mucho año puede no volverlo a ver. Um, I hadn't seen them in a long time, many years. Y ahora los encontré nuevo. And now I've seen them again. Eh, encontré a Liz por medio de, de Facebook. I found Liz through Facebook. Rafael y los demás que son como mi hermano. I found Rafael and the other ones through Facebook and they are like my siblings. Sí, ahora soy papá. Now I am a father. Eh, pero ahora este, yo y mi mujer este, estamos separados porque yo no tengo trabajo y no tengo pues, una casa donde vivir, entonces... So right now, um, me and my girlfriend, we're living separately because I don't have a job at the moment and so for a time we were living with my grandfather. Eh, eh, mi 
compañera vivía, vive con su mamá. But right now, she lives with her mom. And I live with my grandfather. But Jed is offering up his house to us again. And so we're thinking about coming and living here. My situation is pretty hard right now because I don't have a job and I don't have a place to live. <coughs>